there, this is Michelle Holland. I'm the creative director of Synergy IQ. I had a question um, from a colleague the other morning as we were having coffee. And they said to me, as we were talking about you know, organizational change and um, or development, organ design, that sort of stuff, um, well, what's the difference between an organizational change and an individual change? And I thought it was such a great um, question because it is something that comes up quite a lot when I'm talking with uh, businesses and organizations on how to, particularly when I'm talking to them about how to change the culture of the business. Um, because the truth is, the only way a business culture will change is when all of the people in the organization also change. Um, and that's you know either a change because they've left the organization and there's a new person that's come in with the right kind of behavior and, and values and um, alignment to the vision or the people that are there change the behavior that they're demonstrating and change the activities that they're doing. Um, so the difference between individual change and organizational change is organizational change is much more complex because it's um, about the organization as a whole. So we're looking at the systems, the practices, the people, everything within the business, and also each individual going through their own process of change. So that's why organizational change can be a lot more complex um, because there's a lot more people in there. So individual change is a complex subject in itself and um, you know there are uh, you know there's science behind change there's uh, there's habits that we develop um, there are things that we do there's fear there's all of those things on an individual basis that means that change can often be uh, hard work and a challenge and um, we sabotage ourselves quite often with uh, individual change processes so we're dealing with all of that stuff when we're looking at organizational change but the difference is, um, you know, where a psychologist might come in and work with you uh, on an individual basis or even with your team, but very much on an individual basis of what is the, uh, the changes that each individual is going to make to help uh, change the, the culture of the team or the organization. The perspective that we come from is let's make sure that when people are able to change, that the business environment and the structures that are within that business are enabling rather than restricting. Because the unfortunate thing is, is that if you only focus on individual change, and that's things like behavior and mindset, which are extraordinarily important for change, but if you only focus on them, then what actually happens is the people that are uh, moving through this change more quickly will get frustrated with your organization and they will leave if you do not look at all of the structures that are actually maintaining the current behaviors, the current mindsets, the current culture in place. So organizational um, change is more complex because there is the individual change stuff as well as the organizational structural changes that need to happen to enable those changes of mindset and behaviors and activities to actually flourish um, and produce some great outcomes. My name is Michelle Holland. I am from Synergy IQ, your transformation partner.